Um, we're at the Aquarium of America it's in downtown New Orleans, and we're having a lot of fun here. We're right next to the penguins, which are really cute. Um, we just finished getting out of the IMAX movie, and um, it was really, it talked about the hurricane before and after, and how like the wetlands protect New Orleans, or protected more specifically New Orleans from uh, previous hurricanes, and how losing these wetlands has actually made uh, the impact of hurricanes a lot harsher, and that's the case with Hurricane Katrina. And they had a lot of footage of what happened during the hurricane, and I know back home we saw a lot of, just during the hurricane on CNN and stuff like that, we saw a lot of footage of that, but it was really different this time because in the audience were people from New Orleans, people that actually went through all of this, and they were tearing up, and it was just a lot more emotional, and it, it hit a lot closer to home because these people went through what I was just watching, and it was, it was different, it kind of motivated me even more for tomorrow and what we're going to be doing. Um, later today we're going to the French Quarter, which I'm really excited about too. I've never been to New Orleans, so it'll be interesting. It's actually surprised me how lively everything is. Uh, we drove through downtown on our way here and you still see all the ruins, you still see all the destruction, but at the same time, life goes on, I guess, and people are still uh, moving on with their lives, still going to the aquarium, I guess, and doing all sorts of things, and I'm looking forward to seeing more of the New Orleans life at the French Quarter. You've seen the, 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 the before after. Before is after, is it? Uh, have they done a good job of reconstructing the aquarium? Yes, it's been slow. It's been very hard emotionally, and and just the, the doing it, the everyday aspect of getting it back on, on track. It's been very hard to do, but I th we're gonna be okay. So yeah, we had a really good time at the aquarium. It was cool. I mean, we got to come here for free, so we're really thankful for that and just kind of hang out and see, uh, I guess, the, uh, some of the fish and the you know, water, I guess, wildlife from the, from the area and all around the country, I guess all around the world. It's really cool just to see that diversity of uh, species on the earth. So it was really interesting. And now I think we're gonna go off to the French Quarter to uh, walk around and check out the rest of New Orleans. live here when I grow up, <laughs> even though I'm already 18, or 19, oh my god. <laughs> Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dan and we are on the bus right now ready to go to orientation here pretty soon. And after that we're going to go to our respective work sites. I'm on paint crew, super excited. Alex is also on paint crew, but he's a statue as you can see. Yeah, we're definitely excited. Uh, we all, I got a good night's sleep last night. I don't know about anybody else. Um, so we are ready to work today, definitely. The last two days have been cool, but uh, the reason why we came down here is to help these people out and just uh, work hard. So we're gonna put our nose to the grindstone and get some stuff done. Of the 25,000 volunteers that have come through, 80% have been college students. You got to keep in mind one thing when you get to the homes with the homeowner. This is their entire life. Their kids, their grandkids, their great grandkids probably was raised in that home. We want you to spend the first hour or two with the homeowner if they need you. They may ask you to help them find certain things that they haven't been able to find. Help them. I would rather you deal with the homeowner before you start gutting or rebuilding the house. 
because they they are more important to us than, than the structure. New Orleans has gone through the shock phase, the anger phase. Now we're getting into a depression phase. And the depression phase is simply because a year and a half out, there are still well over, I'm, I'm sure, 300,000 homes that still need to be worked on. Hey everyone, it's Eliana. It's Ellie. I'm here uh, day one. We're going to work in this wonderful house out here that you can see. We're going to get uh, everything cleaned up. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is just get out everything uh, that the owner has. Sentimentals, valuables, and then we're going to start tearing the place down. August, the month it happened, 2005. When we got here today, it was all boarded up. We had to take all the bars down, and there was carpet on the ground and about this much debris. But we first had to work our way out, and then we couldn't even get into these back rooms. There was so much stuff in here. This room covered, everything covered with everything imaginable that these people had. As you can see, we're still taking stuff on here. Way, way tough. All of that. This room was by far our worst room. As you can see, it's really, really dark in here, and we had to take all the boards off the windows so we could just see in here. And everything was still soaking wet. The house didn't actually was not actually flooded. It came just about to the floor level, but it didn't rise into the house. But just with the condition of the building, the water rose into the rooms. And so we had a lot of work in this room. We got it, we got it. We got here today not really knowing what to expect. And into a complete devastation. We had no idea that it would be this bad. We walked in and the floors were covered in everything, every sort of just breed possible you can think of. Feet, literally this high, full of clothing that was wet, full carpeting, every belonging that these people had totally ruined. There was very little that we could salvage. It was really a long, hard effort and it took us all day, but as you can see here, we really got a lot done and a lot of teamwork went into today, but I'm really proud of everything that we did. It feels good to know that we're finished. Today we went to a new work site. It was all demolition. It was really exciting because this is kind of what we, our group wanted to do. And yesterday was terrible, it was disgusting, but today was a lot better. We got there and it took us a while to get the board off the door because it was nailed to another door and the way it worked, the door would swing and we couldn't get the nails out. But we finally got it out and we walked inside and the water was about window height so it had actually come into the house and you could see the water line everywhere it was kind of cool we only worked on the bottom level of the two level house it was actually a lot of fun we first we had to clear out all the stuff that was in the house it wasn't nearly as much as yesterday only furniture major appliances were left and our biggest challenge of the day was getting a futon out of the room because initially the floorboards were all messed up so the front door wouldn't open so we had to go through the side door we got to work on the demolition which was the greatest thing I've ever done in my life. 
taking a sledgehammer and swinging at the wall. It was really fulfilling. <laughs> Tomorrow we have floorboards, a couple floorboards to pull up, and then we have to finish the kitchen. And the ceiling also has to come, which is going to be difficult because I don't know how we're going to get the drywall off the ceiling, but it'll be exciting. I also got a chance to stop off at another one of the work sites, the paint crew, and it was amazing. We got to talk with the homeowner and see what another group had done. It was a good experience to overall see the difference our huge group as a whole was making. And I think that about wraps it up for now. Tonight we are going to see a movie. First of all, we are going to dinner at what university are we going to? Loyola University. And then following that, we are going to see a movie, 300, at the local cinema, and they're sponsoring us, so thank you. It'll be a lot of fun. And after that, I'm sure we're gonna pass out because our muscles are pretty sore from working so hard today. two uh, of these stripes up at the ceiling and go all the way back around. So that'll be interesting to do. But, uh, and we'll see because as you can see what I have now is a T. It's a T square. And if you look, let me take for example if I try to use it on the ceiling, it's not exactly level. Every time I have to do a level line like this one up here, I just bring in a couple girls and ask them if it's level. You know, they're my eyeballs. So I think it's going great. to help Elaine because we have a shortage of brushes and rollers and so she's going to stand on this beautiful bucket while I just hand her paint things so, I don't have to, so she doesn't have to get back up. And I have a stark foam cup full of white paint. And all we have to do in this room is just um, paint the ceiling. We're waiting on some rollers for that. But other than that, I think we're almost done. The lady actually told us today that we're, prof we're hopefully going to finish up today. And if not today, then definitely by tomorrow. So we're gonna get to help out somewhere else. Yay! Ryan, dirty, what can we do? Paint them. We're not painting we're not dirty. Painting dirty. <laughs> trying to catch me. They're, no, they're trying to catch you painting dirty, <laughs> yeah, but we're not. not really painting dirty. Yeah. Trying to catch me painting dirty. <laughs> I don't know how long we've been here, maybe a half hour, 45 minutes. This is my, just has been my duty thus far and I have enjoyed it, I cannot complain. It's 11 o'clock? Yeah. What time do we get here? Okay, so I've been here for an hour and 45 minutes, way longer than I thought I was. So I guess I'm slow. Um, yeah. But I can't complain, I, I'm enjoying it. He brought us a lot of Starbucks, which is really cool. Um, iced tea and iced coffee, um, and it's really refreshing. He's a district manager, he said, and he lives around 45 minutes away from here, so his house has also suffered a little bit of damage, but he's still helping out. Is this one of the first teams that you guys have sponsored, or how does it? Um, we work with a group called a group called Acorn, uh -huh. um, and um, you know we uh, do what's called a Make Your Mark event where uh, every hour that a partner at Starbucks puts in, they, they donate so much money. Okay. So, you know, this is something that we've been doing since the hurricane you know, came. Okay. Um, but uh, this, this, I believe, is the first group that, that we've sponsored in this way. Wow. Um, and, and looking forward to you know, doing it a lot. Uh, because y'all are just doing an incredible job. And uh, um, I, I don't even know if you realize the impact that you make on people's lives. They've been supplying us with coffee and a bunch of free stuff, and they've... You guys have been basically our major sponsor, I believe. 